This is Schwantz 27 asking unbalanced team numbers in Call of Duty? How is this still a thing? Every once in a while with an older Call of Duty game like Black Ops 2 as you see here, you would get the occasional 7v5 match, especially when people try to session join. PSA, don't join my session. I always play with viewers during my live streams and if I'm not streaming, that means I'm not playing with you. The fastest way to ensure that I never play with you is to join my session. Anyways, these occurrences were rare, far and few between up until Advanced Warfare. I had been doing the top 5 fails for a good portion of Ghost's life cycle and I don't recall seeing many, if any, clips of unbalanced teams, but maybe that's because nobody was playing it to throw the team balance off. <laughs> Anyways, in Advanced Warfare, it seemed that this happened much more often. People would try to spawn into a game and be unable to do so. Then they'd check the scoreboard only to find out that they can't spawn in because the game put them on a team with six players already and it wouldn't let a 7v5 match even happen. Sometimes the teams were even more unbalanced than just by one, as you can see here with an 8v3 where two players can't spawn in or a 9v3 where three players can't spawn in. Since you can't switch teams in Call of Duty, these players would have to leave the game and take a loss for no fault of their own. This trend continued into Black Ops 3, but this time, players would actually be able to play with an uneven amount of players on each team. I got into numerous 7v5 matches, much to my chagrin. Right, Wait, buy, one, two, buy three, something. four, five, six, seven on five! Come no. on, Treyarch! Others would be playing against even greater odds with there being a 7v3, or worse yet, getting zero players on the enemy team like in this clip here. It's a giant waste of time just to set up a game, only to have it end 20 seconds later because there's nobody to play against. Sure, you'll take the easy W, but it's annoying to have to go through the motions. Now in Infinite Warfare, things are taken to a whole new low, even in the quote beta, where there were instances of team unbalance, and since it's actually a demo, not a beta, it's happening in the full release as well. 8v4 matches, 7v5 matches, and that good old nobody on the enemy team matchmaking. It's pathetic that the matchmaking system has regressed to such lengths over the iterations of Call of Duty, given that improvements are supposed to happen with each year. Also, isn't this why we have a three-year development cycle? Which is why I'm asking, do you even math, bro? I mean, unbalanced team numbers in Call of Duty? How is this still a thing?